Whoa, I found this story. Check this out. Cracker Barrel ordered to pay $9 million after serving guests clean solution. What? God, someone does that, you have to be the stupidest waitress or the cook on the planet. And Cracker Barrel, who was pretty good reviews about that rest, always wanted to try to... Man, I heard one time they got some good turkey fried steak in there. They got good meatloaf in there or good mac and cheese in there. But this is like, what? Check it out. Our attorney's representative, William Cronin, told the jury was accidentally given a glass filled with a mixture of water with a commercial grade bleach. What? Whoa! Yeah, sometimes when you go to a restaurant, you, you, they'll give you a glass of water like that, you know, like free complimentary. Sometimes you have to ask for it, but sometimes when you go to a restaurant, they'll give you like that. This guy was giving a mixture of water, commercial grade bleach. Whoa! Check this out. A jury awarded William Cronin more than $6 million in a lawsuit against Cracker Barrel. Cronin's attorney, Thomas Greer, says his client was served a chemical that's a sanitizer. Twelve jurors deliberated for three days last week. Cracker Barrel unsafe policies and procedures, and they had unsafe training, training their servers to soak the parts of a soda fountain machine, these little black pieces that unscrew from the soda fountain machine, and they were training their servers to soak those parts in an unmarked water pitcher like this with a mixture of a commercial-grade bleach called Echo Sand and water. Court records indicate in 2014, Cronin, a then Marion County resident, stopped by the Cracker Barrel in Kimball, Tennessee, for lunch and asked for water. His lawyer says the server used a pitcher that contained Echo Sand or sanitizer and poured it in his cup. He says the sanitizer had been left overnight in the pitcher in the food service area. He takes three or four big... You know, that's something when you wear... When you like, when you clean like a solution like that, you're supposed to take it out before you put water to serve your customer. That's just a human lack of judgment right there. Wow. Gulps of the liquid before realizing that it was not water. He immediately has intense burning in his mouth and throat. He can't breathe. He starts coughing up uh, bloody. Mucus. Greer told Ooh. Channel 3 Cronin was rushed to the ER and this Echo Sand safety data sheet was faxed over to the hospital, showing that Cracker Barrel was aware of the incident. Cracker Barrel responded to the verdict and accusation, saying, while we have great respect for the legal process, we are obviously disappointed by and strongly disagree with the jury's award in this case, which involved an unfortunate and isolated incident that occurred at one of our stores eight years ago. Compensatory damages were 730000 for economic damages, $3.6 million for non-economic damages, and the punitive damages of $5 million. Greer says the jury decided their verdict in under 30 minutes. Those are designed That's a record. To, not to compensate my client, but to punish Cracker Barrel for its egregious misconduct and to send a message to restaurants across the state of Tennessee that this is an unsafe practice. Thanks for watching. That's crazy. Yeah, look at that stuff. Look at that. Check this out right there. Give it a glass filled with mixture of water and commercial grade bleach. That's unbelievable.